The Raspberry Pi Challenge gives people a chance who've never programmed before to have a go before they arrive at university. It's a great way to get to know everyone else better and the people that you'll be spending the next few years with. It made me feel a member of the department right from the start. We have a competitive programming challenge. Students have to program basically in artificial intelligence to play a game against each other and it makes for a really fun knockout event. One of the things I always really enjoy about Blue Pie Thinking is the weird ideas that students come up with. For example, one guy squeezed the camera into an old film camera body. There's not really any point in doing that, but it's a fun thing to do and it looks cool and it takes pictures. Another example, a guy has built a physical Turing machine. It's like a really complex theoretical idea, so that's kind of cool. I'm absolutely blown away by some of the projects that I've seen today. They're so much more complex than what I would have been capable of this time three years ago. Over the four years, the projects themselves got more complex, and I think that's possibly because there's more information out there and triggers lots more creative kind of duty. I've got a programme that lets you test yourself on learning the anatomy of the body. It's mainly for students that are studying like medicine or biology. We've got users. <laughs> My idea was to create an Othello playing machine that can scan a board and determine what's happening in the board game and play against you with an AI. I got my Raspberry Pi Labyrinth game. Uh, it uses tilt controls. You just tilt up to right, left, or down, and it'll move you wherever you want to go. We've gone all the way through hardware integration, software integration which is very impressive, they put all that stuff together. Getting that whole thing to work as a system, I think is amazing for someone who hasn't even started a computer science degree. We try and get the students to be creative and technically excellent at the same time. And I think this Raspberry Pi Challenge exposes students to that kind of thing.